Griffin Virtual Academy students, let's talk about two very important words for your learning experience this school year. Seamless and consistent. So, you notice what word isn't there when we talk about the Griffin Virtual Academy. And that's the same. Will it be the same if you're learning in person this school year? Probably not exactly. The Griffin Virtual Academy is not designed to have you sitting in front of a Chromebook screen for seven hours a day watching a live stream of what might be going on in your classroom. It will be different than that. Now our teachers are encouraged to have live sessions uh, with virtual students where maybe you can connect with them uh, and your classmates and they've also been encouraged to do so uh, e even for non-academic purposes but they're not required to and nor are you required to attend virtual sessions because we know in Sullivan County uh, the internet um, does not always comply with our needs to use it. So, will learning at home be the same as learning in school? No, it will be different, but we do want to make it seamless and consistent for you. So what does seamless mean? Seamless means that changing between learning formats during this school year from the Griffin Virtual Academy to on-campus or if uh, if you, you need to, from on-campus to Griffin Virtual Academy, that that process is seamless. So for the start of the school year, we're going to let you switch back and forth um, you know, as you try things out. Once we get into the school year, we're going to ask that if you switch from on-campus to Griffin Virtual Academy, that you commit to giving it um, 10 days of instruction, 10 school days, just to make sure that you've gave it a fair shake and you, you can know whether it's right for you or not. Um, additionally, we need time to send stuff home to you. So we want, we want to make sure that you commit for 10 days once we get uh, the week after Labor Day, so September 14th. But for right now, at the start of the year, um, if you find out three days in that on campus is tough for you um, and you try out Griffin Virtual Academy for three days and it's not working, you can, you can go back and forth. Um, but moving on to Seamless, the idea is you'll be able to go between those different formats. Um, so let's say your family takes a trip to a state where people aren't supposed to travel right now. When you get back, you could seamlessly transition into the Griffin Virtual Academy. And then as soon as uh, you're able to, based on recommendations, you can come right back into class. And so we want to give you that ability to transition between modes. Um, we want to make sure you, that you stay connected with the classmates and teachers uh, that you have here in the school and that we schedule you to accommodate either format. So in the high school, for example, we made sure that our classes were scheduled so that no classroom had more students in it than we could accommodate uh, via social distancing. So if a class was has a roster of 20 students and only 20 desks can fit in that classroom, we are only going to schedule 20 students for that period even if we know that maybe three or four of you are virtual academy students. So that way, um, if you decide to come back, we have a desk for you uh, and you're, you're ready to go. We don't have to change your schedule when you transition between modes. And the same idea applies at the elementary school level. So that was one of the words, seamless. Let's talk about consistent. What does that mean? If it's not the same, what does consistent mean? Well, uh, consistent means that the learning that you're going to get at home uh, is consistent with the learning that our students on campus are getting. So that means that you're going to have access uh, to your teachers. Um, you're going to be able to communicate with them. Uh, your primary teachers or, or your, your classroom teachers, you can email them directly. You can set up uh, conferences with them uh, as available. And then at the high school, uh, each subject area has a teacher with scheduled office hours built in every day to connect with virtual students. So if you have a math question, for example, Mrs. White has two periods a day where she can answer uh, question, math related questions for virtual academy students. Now, I'm, I'm sure Mrs. White knows all of the answers to uh, your math questions, but if you have a question that maybe she uh, is, doesn't know the answer to, um, she'll be able to coordinate with your classroom teacher uh, directly to help get you that answer or forward your question on. So that's what's going on at the high school. At the elementary school level, uh, your special teachers, library, uh, art, music, um, gym, 
those folks will have office hours each day to help coordinate time with you and, and your classroom teacher. So you will have consistent access to teachers. Uh, content will be, be made available to you on a consistent schedule. The idea is as we get going, um, that material or content that's being presented to in-person students, you're seeing that uh, at the same day. Um, and, and in fact, teachers can, can release content to both the on-campus and virtual students ahead of time if they so choose. Um, even if they plan to go over the material in person, uh, let's say they release everything on Sunday, that would be fine, even if they're planning to go over the material with the in-person students on Tuesday. Um, but you'll have, uh, avail you'll have that same content available to you. Additionally, timelines for assignments will be consistent. If a staff member or if a teacher is requiring a homework assignment to be due on Wednesday for in-person students, it's going to be due for you on Wednesday as well. And finally, assessments and grading will be consistent. So if a, if a teacher has a, a test that's being given on uh, Friday to in-person students, that, that exam will be made available to you on Friday. Um, so the, those, are, those are important factors, seamless and consistent uh, as we go into the 2020-2021 school year. Thank you. And as always, if you have any questions related to uh, your school this year, contact the building offices and we'll help you out.